Hello, welcome to this wonderful program packaged for you to learn at home and improve your understanding in mathematics. I remain Mr. Ogaranya Nnaduze Matthias, a teacher of mathematics. And uh, today we're going to study a topic I subdivided into so many approximation one. What is approximation? Approximation is an act of coming near to identity. When you are closer to identity or you are asked to approximate to a nearest number, a whole number, decimal, significance, and many others. But for this topic and this package, we will look at approximating to the nearest 10, 100, and 1,000, and the nearest whole number. But then there are things we need to get familiar with. In rounding off, rounding off, there are two things we need to do. We round up and we round down. We round up numbers that are up to half of 10 and above. 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. These are five numbers that we must always consider to be approximated up. To one in this topic. And there are numbers we approximate down to zero. Four, three, two, one, and zero. One is omitted here. We have one and zero. So it's expected that anytime you have either of these numbers and you are considering approximation, you run them down to zero. How do I mean and where do we apply it? To the nearest thousand, hundred, ten, and we are asked to approximate. For instance, we are given one, three, six, four. To the nearest ten. I want to ask you, which I know you are seeing very well, how many zeros are in ten? One zero. It's expected that in the this number, one thousand three hundred and sixty-four. You will round either up or down the last digit to a zero. And then in the last, last, last digit, that is what you consider whether to be rounded up or to be rounded down. The one and only, which is four, which we are going to turn into zero under the nearest ten is four. And four, under the category of the rounding off, is to be rounded down to zero. Therefore, this is how the answer came up. One, three, six, zero. Because four has been rounded down to zero. Then the second column, the same number considered. One, three, six, four. And to the nearest hundred means the last two digits of the number given to us need to be rounded down or up to a number that will end with two zeros. And we consider the last two counting from the right to the left. And the last two are four and six. Four and six. And six being the second digit I'm considering will be rounded up according to the instruction given to us that we round up numbers like five, six, seven, eight, and nine up to one. And what do you do with the one? When you round up a number to one, you add to the next digit after your counting, and that is three. One plus three will give us four. And that's why the answer here is one, four, zero, zero. Our target, remember, is to create and make out two zeros under the round of hundred. And that's why we have one, four, zero, zero. And then the last one, which is the nearest one thousand. We'll go back again to the number. The common mistake we have discovered from students is that they want to determine the next answer from the last answer. No. Each time you want to consider either 10, 100, or 1,000, you go back to the question that was given to you. And that is 1, 3, 6, 4. Now, to the nearest 1,000, 1,000 has three zeros. And we consider the last three digits to be turned to zero. And the third one will be under the condition of being rounded up 
or down. I have 4, 6, 3. And this 3 is the one I'm going to be considered either to be rounded up or to be rounded down. And it's in the category of a number to be rounded down because it's not up to half of 10. Therefore, render it down to 0. 0 plus 1 changes this number not. Then I have 1, 0, 0, 0. This number, 1,364, has been rounded down to 1,000 because 364 is not up to half of 1,000. That is for number 1. Number 2, I have 9099. And the last digit, 9, is to be turned down to 0 or rounded up to 1, as case may be. The last digit, 9, is in the category of being rounded up to 1. <coughs> Therefore, the 1 is added to 9. It has crossed the unit stage to tens. And it is a law that we don't write tens and units under one value. Therefore, we write 0 and carry the 1 to tens and give it to 1. And that's why we have 9, 1. Coincidentally, we have 0, 0. This is rare to take place because you have 9. And when you add 1 to 9, it must be 10. And the 10 will be written with 1 and 0. So even though we are rounding it up or down to 10, this second 0 is accidental. So you can have it in some occasions. Then 200. You consider 1 and 2. And this second 9 is rounded up to 1. And this 1 is added to 1 to 0 to give you 1. So you discover that this answer and this answer is almost the same. It happens like that. And when it is like this, you have not made any mistake. If the process and protocols have been observed. Then the last one, which is uh, to the nearest 1,000. We have 1, 2, and 3 to be turned to 0 because it is under 1,000. And coincidentally, we have 0. And 0 is in the category of numbers to be rounded down to 0. That is why we have 9, 0, 0, 0. And then the last one in the example we gave, I have 4077. The last digit here under the, the approximation of 10 will be changed to 0. And 7 is in the category of numbers to be rounded up to 1. Add that 1 to 7, it changes this to 8. So we have 4080. And then to the nearest 100. We have one, two. Remember, each time you want to answer the new question in a new category, you go back to the question given to you. Then we have one, two. And that's why we have seven, rounded up to one, added to zero here, gives you this one. So we have one, four, one, zero, zero. And that's the end of this section under the approximation one to the nearest hundred, thousand, and ten. And assignment attached to this is that you will help me submit this assignment when done to the provided number 5872-7011-90999 to the nearest 10, 100, and 1,000. So that's the end of this. Then we'll go to the next section, which is nearest home number. What is a home number? A home number is or whole numbers are those numbers you know you can count and mention without decimal points whole numbers don't entertain decimal points they are round figures we have a number and the question tag is to the nearest whole number 26.77 is not a whole number because already it has a decimal point and numbers that have decimal point cannot be whole numbers so, how do we make 26.77 to the nearest whole number? We consider the whole number before the point. And the whole number before the point is 26. This is pronounced as 26.77. This is decimal, so you, you digitalize in mentioning them. Many students have called this 26.77. No, you call it as 26.77. After the point, 
He called the numbers one by one. Now, the number we are going to consider into a whole number is only but 26. But the condition is, immediately after the whole number, or the number before the point, what is the number you have, irrespective of the decimal point? Is it 0, or 1, or 2, to 9? This is 7. And 7 is in the category of numbers to be rounded up to 1. What do you do with the 1? You add 1 to the 6. That's why we have 27. Now, we have 1.822. The whole number there is 1, and the decimal, 822. If we are to round up this number to the nearest whole number, we consider only one. And after the consideration, what is the next number to one, which is eight? We round up eight to one, add it to one that is existing. That's why we have two. Then, this is 0 0.930. The zero is not a significant number. It has no value, but this is a number. So 0 0.934 is a number, but there is a number after the point, which is 9. So we round up 9 to 1, add it to 0, that's why we have 1. This has been approximated to 1. Then the last example we have is 4.372. 4 is the whole number, 0.372 is decimal number, and we consider the next number to 4, which is 3. And this 3 is to be rounded down to 0, and 0 plus 4 will give us 4. So 4.372 has been rounded to a whole number, and the answer is 4. So that is how we round up decimals to the nearest whole number. You cannot be given whole number to be rounded up to whole number. In the next lesson, under the approximation, <coughs> excuse me, under the approximation, we're going to study approximations to the nearest decimal point and the nearest significant figures. But until then, the assignment number two, a, num a number has been given to you and you are expected to approximate them to the nearest whole number. Number one, 33.467, 99.958, and 601.72. Approximate them to the nearest whole number. Thank you. And I hope you understand what we have done. And I expect you and encourage you always refer back to your textbooks, the new general mathematics, the new concepts, mathematics um, man textbooks, and many others you can find around you. If you don't have any, I encourage you to ask your parents to provide one for you. Until we meet again, thank you so much and study mathematics as you love it the more. Bye.